Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step exactly how you can move entire projects from Adobe Premiere Pro to Final Cut Pro and vice versa. Now, this is really useful for being able to collaborate with other editors that aren't on the same platform as you. This method that I'm gonna show you uses two different third-party applications, which do cost money with a one-time fee of 20 to $50, but in my opinion, it's super worth it if you're gonna be using it for your team. So now let's get into the tutorial. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is if you're on Mac, then what you're gonna do is open up the app store. And then on the search bar, what you're going to type in is send to X right there. I'm going to press enter and then it's going to show up with send to X right here. And this is going to cost $20, but again, it's a one-time fee. And if you're going to be collaborating with other editors throughout your entire career, then this is something that you should definitely invest in. Now, because I already purchased it, it says open. So I'm going to go ahead and press open right here. And once I open it up, it's basically going to allow me to choose any XML file that's on my computer. So for this example, I just have a test XML clip. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here at the bottom right hand, corner, you're going to see that it's going to start translating the file. And once that's done, it's most likely going to tell you that there's a missing media file that needs to be relinked on your Final Cut Pro. This is totally fine because once you import it onto your timeline, you'll be able to relink everything. So for here, I'm just going to click on continue and it's going to ask me if I want to send it straight to Final Cut Pro or if I just want to save the XML file. For this example, I'm just going to save it as an XML file. So I'll click on OK. And it's basically going to ask me what I want to name the file along with where I want to save it. So let's just keep it the same and then click on save. Now from here, if I go into my finder and then I go into my downloads, I'll see that it's translated into a Final Cut Pro XML. And if I double click on that, it's gonna open up my Final Cut Pro. It's gonna tell me which library I wanna open. So I'll choose the library that I want. And from here, it's gonna import it into that library. So I can see right here, it's called Test XML Clip and it imported it as a new event. And if I click on that event, I'll go ahead and see my project right here. Now, if I go into the timeline, then it's basically gonna show all the different cuts from the clips. And from here, if I want to relink it, then I just have to click on the project, go up to file and then relink files, original media. And once I locate my file, I just click on choose. And then from here, I just relink. So from here, you could see that I have the clips on screen now. And sometimes it's not gonna import into your timeline with the correct properties. So if you want, then you could just change it. So for this one, I'll just go ahead and modify to change it to 4K. That way the dimensions are correct correct and then I'll click on OK. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's now the full frame and you can see that there's a bunch of different cuts here. Basically our other editor that uses Adobe Premiere Pro exported their XML file and I just translated it onto my Final Cut Pro timeline. That way I can save a ton of time and I don't have to cut every single clip. Now, if you wanna do the reverse and you wanna export and translate from Final Cut Pro to Adobe Premiere Pro, then you're gonna have to use a different platform and this one's gonna be called Project X to 7 or X to CC if you're on Mac. So here I am back at the App Store and if I go ahead and go back to the search bar and I search up X to CC, go ahead and press enter. I'll see that it's right here and it does cost $50 instead of $20. If you guys are on Windows, then I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to check out this website where you guys can buy it on there. Now, the reason why it's more expensive than send to X is because it translates more than just sequences and clips. It also translates things like markers, text, and simple transitions from your timeline. And yeah, Charlie and I use this a lot because we both edit on Final Cut Pro while most of our editors overseas use Adobe Premiere. Pro. With these platforms, it makes it a lot easier to transfer timelines. So yeah, we'd say that it's definitely worth the money, especially since it's just a one-time fee that you can use for the rest of your life. Again, we'll be leaving a link down in the description for you guys to check out this website to get the two platforms. And yeah, I hope you guys got a ton of value out of this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this because we make a ton of tutorials and how-to guides on this channel dedicated to helping new entrepreneurs start their own business along with new creators that are looking to get into video production. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.